Well, guys, check out the little beast, the Rhino 4155. Some people are probably like, oh my gosh, another mowing video. Come on, squad. Some people are probably like really pumped about this video and stuff. I'm, I'm fairly pumped about it. But what we're going to be doing today is I'm going to take, I don't know what tractor to put on this yet, but we're going to be mowing. Well, first of all, since we bought this from the dealership, they're like, hey, can you clean up some areas around, around our dealership and stuff, like along the roads and stuff. So we'll be doing that. And then we'll be taking it back to our farm and mowing the ditches. Because it's always kind of fun mowing steep ditches and stuff with a big bush hog. It's like, it's kind of like eye pleasing too when you're taking down huge, not huge bushes, but huge, uh, like really thick grass with this big bat wind mower. I don't know. It's, it's something, something about it is kind of fun. Okay. So we didn't have, I was going to pull it back with this truck, but then I was like, you know what? Last episode, me and Farmer Nick, and we're not going to be doing like any farming today. If you consider bush hog and farming, then I guess we're doing farming today. But also, I added in money to get that bush hog. Since the bush hog doesn't directly uh, help out the farm at all, I was like, you know what? I'm going to add in money because honestly, if this was, if I wasn't making this video, I probably wouldn't have got this bush hog for the farm. I would have just been like, we don't need to mow the ditches. Hopefully, you guys understand that. But we have the John Deere 8130 here. Now, the 9R is too big a tractor to go on that bush hog. But we do have the 8130 here, and it's probably a little too big a tractor. But I was like, you know what? I'm... I think I'm going to unhook this and throw the 8130 on it. Now that leaves us with the truck over there to pull these graduate wagons home. Home. All we have to do is hook up the truck to these graduate wagons, unload it, and then the graduate wagons will be empty, which of course the truck will then easily be able to pull it. When the graduate wagons are completely full, it might be a little tough for the truck to pull these things, but all it has to do is pull it a couple feet. So I think we're fine. We're not going to be unloading any of this grain here today. We left it overnight and we'll just, we'll just leave it here. For this episode, we're not going to be doing any of this but i'm gonna grab the 8130 and hook it up to uh to that bat wind and we'll use this as our mowing tractor and then maybe the 4440 kind of want to use the 4442 okay so somehow we have to make it up that hill where that bush hog is and then i gotta bring the f-350 down here to hook up to those gravity wagons we're just gonna basically be switching them out <laughs> the 8130 dude it may be overkill what do you guys think it's it is 8130 isn't that big of horsepower tractor though when you think about it it's one of the smallest uh, 8,000 series models you can get. Close to one of the smallest, I think. Is there an 8120? There might be an 8120 or something like that, though. So, we're gonna hook up to the Rhino. Now, is the Rhino 4155 Bush Hog, is that the same one How Farms Work has? Or How Farms Work, I don't know if they have it still. They had it. Pretty sure they had that. So, I'm gonna connect to this Bush Hog here with the 8130, take that F-350 down the hill, now, the dealership asked us to do some crazy side hills here, which is going to be fun. Oh, shoot. Are we going to be able to connect? Okay, I got to pull the truck kind of out. Oh, we're going to probably, oh, we're probably going to scratch the truck. There we go. So for now, I'll put the F-350 over here. We got to pull that down to the gravity wagons. It's going to be interesting. F-350 with fully loaded gravity wagons. All it has to do is pull it a couple feet, though. Throw that baby in low and she'll pull her, probably. Okay. Yeah, this seems, uh, 8130 seems a little big for this. We'll connect her. Okay, I'm gonna. Oh, check out this. Check out the blades on this thing. <laughs> the blades. The, there's a couple things wrong with this bush hog. And this is public, so I'll link it down below. There's a couple things wrong. I got the blades on right now. I know this is kind of dangerous. Probably run the. <laughs> check out the blades. Like, it's really hard to actually get the actual action that the blades would make. But I've tested it out, and it seems to work fine. It would probably be better if I took off the duels off this 8130. So there we go. We got that hooked up. I'm gonna run the F350 down there. Took up to the gravity wagons quick. So I'm really enjoying, on this series, I'm really enjoying the equipment we have. Like, I don't, I don't know if I want to go back to the, the 89. I think I want to keep that 9R. Also, because if I have people on here, I have to have the 9R. Because the 89 is, is uh, private. Okay, so all the other video has to do is pull these ahead. Which it'll be fine, it'll do that. Oh, she's slipping a little bit. <laughs> we got her in four-wheel drive, too. Look at that. <laughs> there we go. Okay, for now, we'll just keep it right there. We need more weight on this F-350 is what we need. Um, but nah, it's all we get technically in real life. It could pull the gravity wagons a couple feet ahead and once they're empty, it'll be fine pulling them empty. Uh, and then we got the nine R back here. So I need to, okay. What the dealership wanted us to do too bad. You couldn't mow down these bushes. I really wish you could like guys, if I could mow down these bushes, this would be sick, but I want to try going along this bank. That is okay. Maybe this is a little bit. Yeah, that's probably too steep. That is probably too steep. Maybe not, but they just wanted us to kind of clear some of these roadsides. Right along these lanes here because they've been overgrown. They're like, hey, on your way out, you know, maybe you need to help us out since we gave you a good deal and clear some of the 
goose on the side road so that's what i'm gonna do here dude if i had this set up in real life i feel like i would just be you would just see me bush hogging all day squad's bush hogging service baby that's what it would be just all day i would just love to operate this but you know eventually like everything if you use it enough you'd probably get bored of it but i'm gonna kind of pull down through here now these bushes right here like i don't know what to do about those you can't Unfortunately, you can't mow over bushes. It would be sweet if this bush hog just demolished those bushes in farming simulator, but it won't in farming simulator, unfortunately. Uh, but I'm going to mow kind of along here is what they said, too. So we'll pull off. I should probably pull off this other road before we turn this thing on. There we go. We got the rhino. Turn her on. Drop her down. Oh, oh. Okay, never mind. We can't mow the dealership. We cannot mow the dealership at all. I can't even purchase the dealership, so it doesn't even matter. Like, you, you just can't purchase this area. So, it looks like we'll be pretty much mowing back home. Okay, take this baby back. We'll fold her up. We'll head down the road with the 8130 here. And uh, we'll start mowing some ditches back home. Oh, look at the nice cows right there. That looks cool. I like how they're actually moving around. Like, this farm from roadside view looks a heck of a lot better. Now, one thing I want to do quick, this 8130, dude, when you're hitting these hills, it downshifts. It sounds amazing. The power shift on this is just fantastic. But uh, one thing I want to do is take off these duels because, I mean, when you're bush hogging, I guess, I guess if you're in the ditches, you may want duels for stability. But I feel like when we're mowing, it's just, it'd be better to take the duels off. And the only way to do that is by adding a workshop. And now the workshop is fairly unrealistic. Like it's the in-game, it's the giant stuff. And it just, it doesn't look good. But I own this property over here that I barely ever go by and all we do is farm it. So I'm thinking what I'll do is I'll go place the workshop over here, like kind of tucked away, hidden. Uh, so that way I don't have to drive by it every day. But it's still usable and it's still fairly close to the farm. But I think that's what I'm going to do. Now the workshop's going to cost kind of a lot of money. That's my only worry. Um, so let me here. Let me pull off the side of the road. I'll see what we own, kind of. Uh, shoot. I think this is ours. I think we own this house as part of this land. Let me check. Okay, we do not own this house. It's okay. I'm just using the driveway for a second. I think I'm just going to... We could probably put the workshop just right here, to be honest. It's going to look a little weird, but we barely ever drive by this, so it'll probably be fine. I don't want to put it at the main farm. I just... Like this... I don't know. The workshop just doesn't look good. That's just me. Okay, so I'll put it right here. I want to sink into the ground a little, though. There we go. So that way, we got this here. It, it, it will look kind of... Eh, it's fine. It's fine, to be honest. So I'm going to unconnect this, or I'm going to disconnect this uh, bush hog here. And then see what we can get for options to go back to singles on this 8130. We're going to use it to bush hog. Okay, so I found this row crop version. Now, this looks fairly good. I like it. I like it. It's good. But I think one thing I might want to go to eventually... Especially once we get into spring tillage. I don't know if, how much we'll use this for spring tillage. But this. Uh, oh, shoot. I had it. I want to go something like this. So we'll have front duels on this tractor. It Maybe we'll use it for planting. I don't know. Maybe we'll go plant our planting setup like this. But this is what I might go for the planting setup. For now, let me switch it all the way back to... We had just regular row crop. I hate this. Okay, the one thing I hate is the care wheel. I don't know why. I hate these wide, wide wheels up here. I just want to go regular row crop. That's perfect. There we go. So we'll customize to that. Since it costs zero dollars, since we've already had it like this before, I need to wash this thing badly though. <laughs> Dude, maybe we should. I don't know. This looks. This is good. This is good enough. Definitely. You don't want. I don't know. You just don't want all those duels on there and stuff when you're doing ditches. There we go. I mean, technically this is our land, so we could we could mow some of this here. Here, I'll mow. I'll mow down the side quick. We'll kind of clean this up because look how it's kind of overgrown. Okay, drop her down. Unfortunately, like I said, we won't be able to get rid of these bushes. That'd be cool if we could, though. Oh, look at this rhino, dude. Oh, shoot. I don't have access to this land anymore. Oh, wait. No, I'm still going. We're still rolling. Oh, I think it's because I was really close to the roadside, and I definitely don't own the road. Okay, here we go. Finally, we're good. I, I could have kept the duels on, I think, to be honest. Might have looked a little better, but look at this. It cleans it up so nice, actually. Kind of mowing some of the cement now. There we go. Dude, this rhino is good. Now, when I saw the mod description or whatever, some people said it has some problems. I haven't seen any problems with this. Is this where our land actually cuts off at? What? I feel like I own more of this. Huh. Maybe part of it cuts off right there. Okay. I guess we got to turn around there. 
See, some of this, I, th that's the only thing. When we're like mowing dishes and stuff, it's kind of tough because if you don't own all the land, it doesn't let you mow s to certain areas and stuff. Definitely should shut off those blades going down the road so we don't chop up cars and mirror or something. What we'll do is we'll head back to our ditches. Now, hopefully, through a lot of our ditches, we'll be able to mow them. I think we will be able to. It's just, that's one thing about this new FS18 is it's kind of, it's kind of iffy where your land is. Like, if you want to do some role play videos and stuff, you pretty much got to buy the whole map. Okay, we'll try cutting these. This is actually a perfect ditch to cut if this works. This will be perfect because it's kind of steep too, a little sketchy. Now, this might be where you want to have duels on the tractor, to be honest. Turn her on, drop her down. Oh. What? Okay, so let me see where we have... Okay, so I think we'll have access coming up soon, to be honest. I think eventually it'll let us start cutting. So right now the bush... Oh, we're cutting. We were cutting there. We're cutting. Okay, we're cutting. Partially. Because the bush hog's literally sliding down right now. This is so sketchy. I like how the bush hog's just flopping all over the place and stuff. It's kind of cool. So it looks like the middle of the ditch will be able to mow. Yep, right here we can mow. Look at this. Oh, shoot. I just ran. Oh, shoot. We just ran for the mail. Oh, shoot. The mailbox is going to go under there. Let's just chop this baby up. Probably had a lot of bills in there. That's fine. We don't have to pay him anymore. Oh, man. We just... I just, like, see it all rough. Oh, poor little mailbox. Oh, shoot. We are to toss this thing off to the side. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, shoot. Oh, that's right. Farmer Nick flipped the gator. He was We were messing around and stuff, and... Oh, that was right. That was last episode. Farmer Nick flipped the gator right there. I'm going to lift this up quick. And then we can mow deep. I think we can mow kind of deep in the ditch. I'll, I'll try to mow around this tree and stuff through here. We definitely have... We should have access to this stuff right around here. Perfect. Look at this. this I don't see any problems with this bush hog yet. I'm not, I'm not seeing anything wrong with it. Can we make this turn? The only thing for tight turning and stuff, it would be nice to have the 4440. Just because two-wheel drive tractors will turn a lot tighter. That's the only thing. That's one thing I just kind of realized... We maybe should have the 4440 on this. I, w I really wish this could get rid of the bushes. Oh, shoot. Are we stuck? Oh, okay. Let me back out of this. This is a little sketchy through here. Let's see if we can climb this. <laughs> this is kind of a big track to be taken through here, too. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, you can do it. I might have to lift up this mower for a little bit. That might help. Let me back out of here. We'll try rocking her. Come on. Come on, Turner. Yeah, these 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 ditches aren't really nice to us, to be honest. They're kind of tough to mow through here. Oh, shoot. Come on, come on. Climb out of here. There we go. You can do it. What? Where are we stuck at? I think it's... There we, oh, there is actually a huge hill through there. It's pretty darn rough through here. There we go. Come on. We're moving. We're moving. Oh, dude, that is... R oh, Holy crap, yeah, that is rough through there. Well, look at that. I don't know why that was in there, but yeah, okay, maybe I shouldn't mow through there. That's going to be a little rough. Now, I'm going to turn around and head back along these fence lines. We need to clear these fence lines. Just real tight through here. And I think we should be able to mow this. It's going to be rough, though. I know this is going to be rough. Oh, shoot. This is going to be... Oh, dude, we should definitely have a smaller tractor here. Here we go, though. Oh, my gosh. Here we go. It's doing it. It's honestly doing it. The bush hog gets tossed around all over the place. We're actually... It's kind of cool we're actually running over the bushes, though. Okay. Holy crap, man. Oh, dude, this is, this is too expensive of equipment that I don't even own to be driving through here. The bank owns most of her. It's working, though. Look at that. I mean, the only thing that's left is the bushes. But you can definitely see we came through here and actually mowed this down, though, which is cool. Okay, I'm going to try to fit through here. Fit through the gap. Come on. We'll squeeze through here. Okay. Oh, shoot. These get even sketchier. Look how deep this thing is. Oh, my gosh. This is cool, though. This is fun. This is probably one of the funnest jobs I've done farming so far. Holy crap. This is crazy. Oh, shoot. Okay, we hit a fence pole. It's fine. I can back up and kind of turn it out of here. Oh, this is deep, though. Look at this. 
Okay, we're stuck. I think we're stuck in here. I literally... Oh my gosh, this is steep. Whoever made this map, dude. There we go. We're going. Now, I wonder how close I can get up to this roadside here. How much do we own here? I'm going to try climbing it. Oh, it's working. Oh, okay. Then it stops right there. Yeah, dude, if we had duels, it would be so tough to get through this ditch. Now that I think of it, like it would be, this is just, this, you would never do this with your tractor through here, to be honest. Fairly unrealistic. Oh, oh, dude, somehow this 8130 just keeps pushing on. <laughs> this is so hard on it, too. Okay, I'm going to turn around soon. Actually, the, ditch, the, or the ditches don't get that steep anymore. Well, I'll turn around here. We'll lift her up. We'll start making the turn here. Now, I don't know how close I can get to... Uh, here, let me try dropping in here quick. Yeah, see, it's not going to allow me to row... Some of it. Some of it allows me to mow, though. Yeah, like right here, it's allowing me to mow it. Uh, then it stops. Then eventually, if I get over to the left a little more, it'll allow me to mow it. Should allow me to mow it. Uh, maybe not. But this actually works good right here. Man, come on. Oh, we just went through that sign. Now it's allowing me to mow it, which is nice. Look at this. This is kind of cool. I love just seeing that clean cut come right behind. You have all this grass through here. Okay, now it's kicking me off of it again. Okay, I'm going to fold her up quick. It looks like we can't mow some of, some of it. You can, then it turns off, then it, I don't know, it just looks like a dude who got a bad haircut is what it looks like, because half of it's mowed, half of it's not mowed. I wish we could just mow the ditches like perfectly clean like this, you know, that'd be nice, but uh, you gotta deal with it. Now I'm going to take the gator around and look for other spots I think will need mowed badly. Just pretty much waterways is what we'll use it for. Now these side hills up here, dude, imagine this, like a before and after picture. If, if we could actually clear these bushes. Oh, this would be sweet. This would be so fun mowing if the bushes actually disappeared here. But I'll kind of keep driving up here. I think I'm going to cut up this hill, actually. If the gator can make it. Come on, little gator. Yeah, it's pretty much waterways and stuff like this through here. Um, maybe somewhere around the farm I'll be mowing a little bit. Let me pull up through the farm and see if there's areas that need to be mowed on the farm. I wish... Like I said, I wish the dishes could be mowed a little better, but sometimes it's kind of tough. Like, we could mow around the house and stuff, for sure. And maybe, not, maybe not with this big bush hog, but I could get a zero turn or something. So as far as the bush hog, it'll probably be along these fence rows, pretty much. And then areas around the barn, stuff like that. I'll probably swing up along here, just along these fence rows, to kind of clear those a little better. Yeah, let's do that. I'll park the gator right here quick. How are the cattle doing as far as... One thing we need to do is I need to... I need to uh, drive over this. and the, Or pack it down and or compact it. And then uh, toss a blanket on her. So you can actually, oh, shoot. I left the mower run. Whew. There we go. But I'll hit the other side of the fence rows for the cows there. So that way, just, you know, trees don't start growing up in there. Stuff like that. Could probably get on the right side of the road for a little bit. We got the 4955 over there, which I said I was going to sell, and the guy, the kid still hasn't came and picked it up. We need to sell that. We need to get that thing sold, to be honest. And once we get that sold, though, we're going to be kind of low on tractors, now that I think of it. Okay, I'm going to unfold this, and we'll do one pass here to kind of clean up these. Unfold her. Uh, I'll turn her on, and I'll drop her down. There we go. Now I'm, I want to get as close as possible. Man, this works good. I love this Rhino. I See, I have yet to find a problem with it, really. Uh, it flexes really good. Like when you're in ditches and you're going over that rut. Like it's not like it stays as one solid mower. It'll flex like it should. I guess I'm not seeing anything wrong with it. Oh, this is a sweet view right here. We got the hillsides, we got the rolling hills. In Iowa, it's 
Unless you're in northeast Iowa or southern Iowa, you don't see hills like these. Okay, can we make a turn? There we go. And we'll just kind of curve along this. We'll follow its pattern. Oh, and okay, so the bush hogs are actually getting dirty too. Look at that. Every yeah, I don't know why people are complaining about this. Well, look at this. It actually gets dirty. That's that's fairly realistic. It's kind of almost like a dusty dirty and stuff. It'd be cool if grass went on top of it, but I am not complaining at all. This is it's a good mod. I so far I haven't seen anything wrong with it. I think this fence line goes like forever. So guys, this is gonna be the end of the video. So far, dude, I, I love this bush hog and stuff. We'll be doing it, we'll be using it a lot more. I may come out with mowing videos where we go and mow other people's places, bush hog for them, or bush hog like, you know, an overgrown commercial land lot or, or something like that, you know, heading to town, bush hog for some people. I think that'd be kind of cool. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. If you guys kind of enjoyed the channel, maybe a little bit, maybe you hate me, but kind of enjoy the stuff we do. Just maybe consider subscribing. So I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching, guys.